What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I wanted to show you guys I finally have my indoor greenhouse up and running. Yes, I finally did it. Thank God. It took me about a thousand times of rearranging and moving everything around, but I finally, finally have got it down. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm super proud of myself and for anybody else who's thinking of maybe trying this at home, um, I figure I will continue to post videos on the flowers that I have here so that if anyone is looking to do it at home, um, you know, I can show you exactly how everything's doing, how everything is going in my neck of the woods, and maybe you will want to do it for yourself in your home. So this is what I have going on right now. Again, also very quickly, I purchased everything mainly off of Amazon, and I will post that down below in my descriptions. This way, if anyone maybe is interested in doing this and purchasing the same things that I did, I will post them down below. So without further ado, let me share with you what I finally have done. I made these towers. I ended up purchasing them on Amazon and you can actually make them all different sizes and heights. I decided to take them all and make them into four separate towers. That is what I did. And then I took a pole and I hung a pole all the way across and I have those lights right there. Those are Sansi lights. They are 80 watts. And I hung them all across. I do have more lights that are coming in. But I put two plant stands here on this side. I have my vinca, my geraniums over here. And then in the center, I have all of my tomato plants. And it is a variety of tomato plants. And then down on this end, I have in the back are my hydrangeas. In the front are all of my impatiens. So I have quite the setup going on. I'm really proud of myself and everything so far has done really well. I can't complain. I do have to take certain plants, especially the hydrangeas. I do have to take those outside and water them and let them sit outside and kind of drain out. I do have them sitting underneath a catch tray. Um, however, hydrangeas, as anybody knows, really, really enjoys a lot of water. So I really have to let those drain out before I move them back in. But aside from that, Everything is done really well. The lights have worked perfectly. And over, over here, I have my table of herbs. I have my parsley, my basil, my cilantro, my oregano. And those lights are different. Those ones are gooseneck lights. Again, purchase those off of Amazon. I will post the, just the, I will post the description um, of what those lights are down below in my description. So that is what I have on that side. And then if we come across over to this way, again, two more plant stands, more of the gooseneck lights. I have geraniums on the tops. I have my celosia on the bottom, multicolored celosia. And then I have a king of hearts, a more a petunia on the bottom. So super proud of myself. I will do a quick spin of the room just to kind of give you a quick look of exactly what everything looks like. If I go too fast, I'm so sorry. But that is what everything looks like. I'm so super proud of myself. I finally got it done, guys. And I got it done right in time before winter starts to really set in. So I am really looking forward to seeing how all of this pans out. I'm hoping that all of my plants do well and, you know, my tomato plants, I'm hoping that I, you know, I, I do get to harvest off of them. Um, so far, I am harvesting off of some of them only because they were already, you know, they were already due to come off when they moved in. So really looking forward to seeing how everything, um, you know, handles indoors. And I plan to post videos to show you guys at home every step of the way. Um, of how everything does. So that is my video for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And again, I 